Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more EU for the Third Realm playing as Moravia with control of the Lithuanian throne as well. So between the two of us, we're looking pretty solid right about now and it makes me feel pretty good about my elf. Let's take a look at something. I want to know how strong Denmark is. They got 18,000 troops right now. Teutons. What else do you have? Nick Order has also about 18,000 troops. Hmm. You know, I was saying maybe we should uh, we should try killing like the Teutons and call in Poland and do some complicated stuff where we get to fight Bohemia at the same time. This might be that time. Believe it or not. My only downside is we have no manpower, which now that we are at war, I actually could proclaim claim a holy war and gain 15% manpower recovery speed. It's not worth an absolute ton, but it does help. A little bit. Oh, I don't know. Mercantilism's, of course, good. That's 100 uh, Diplo power saved every time you do that. I don't know yet. Um, for now, I do know that we're very close to capped out on power. We are one year ahead of time. But I'm also about to get capped. We may have to do one level of development somewhere. I guess we could go ahead and do it... Well, where are we going to get the most benefit? 14 here, huh? Alright, spend one. A little bit of extra taxes for me can go a long way. It's practically like building a church. I'm not really planning on helping here, though. The Pope should be able to win this on their own. If they separate peace out Florence, they'll be in a lot better shape. And if the if, if if Austria would stop screwing around, it'd be a lot easier too. But nah. Oh, Bohemia, I want you dead. Very badly, Dost, I want you dead. Oh, look at this. We're almost the Emperor. <laughs> if I make Brandenburg a bit happier, we would be Emperor. So, would it work for me to ask for military access? I wonder if Austria could use that. Now, I know that Austria would get access if the Papal State had military access, because they're the war leader. I don't know if Austria gets it if I ask for it. In fact, I don't think they do. No, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's not worry about that. I can't believe they want me to be the Emperor. I don't think I've earned that right yet. I want to make myself an elector. That's what I want to do. Vote for Austria! I declare everyone who votes for me, go vote for Austria instead. Or don't. So, Teutons. Okay, the Palatinate would no longer join. They're fighting in another war. What are you fighting? Oh, God. Yep, Mainz decided they wanted to kill something. No, Nassau. Nassau. They want to kill somebody. Where's Nassau? There they are. Oh. Are these guys... I think these guys attacked the Emperor. Nope. A Cologne? I'm not really sure. No, I'm sorry. Nassau wants to kill Mainz. Uh, that would be another Elector removed. You guys sure you want to do that? Well, we could still win without the Palatinate's help. I mean, between me and Lithuania, we're in pretty good shape. Still a little tough. Lithuania, if only you hadn't gone bankrupt, this would be a little bit easier. But no. I don't suppose there's anything I can do to make you like me better. No. No, I don't think so. Can Poland... Moravia and Lithuania beat the Teutons on Halt and Denmark. It'd be a little tight, but yes, I think we could, if I had more manpower. For now, let's just improve with all outraged countries. Make them like me a bit better. We lost a claim on something. Oh, against uh, Bohemia. Really? Oh, okay. 
probably okay, right? I mean, I don't know how much territory I plan on taking in the future, but... Good lord, those trade unions, though. Not trade unions, sorry. Trade leagues. Poor, poor Austria. Nobody likes them. Good lord, look at that. France even joined the embargo. France, you're not a part of a trade league, are you? There's no way. No. I was gonna say, I don't think that's possible. Bohemia has taken land from the Emperor. Stop it! Let's grab the tech. We are very uneven in our tech right now. So much so that it's creating uh, problems with corruption. But we're close to getting another idea group. Kind of fun. Bohemia, for real though. You can't keep doing things like that, man. It's not allowed. How are we doing on tech? Or money? Uh, two ducats is meh. Let's pull off of Salzburg. I need more allies than this. The Papal State has a lot of war exhaustion. If the Palatinate was not fighting in another war, they would join, which would be good enough for me. If I can wait long enough to get the Palatinate involved, we might be okay. Bohemia is embargoing me now. And that's the end of that. Wow. The Palatinate ceded the province to Mainz? It looks like they're going to win that war. What are you doing? I have no idea. But they're now willing to join, so we could do that. Spend our favors, call them in. Lithuania apparently has a lot of claims as well, which is uh, interesting, but probably not really good enough. Now that said, we still need more manpower. Here's what I'm going to do. Let's spy on them for a bit. I don't want to feed them more land because I don't want Lithuania getting any stronger. We have an heir, a 431. It's not the best in the world, but it's not the worst. It does mean we're going to be starving for military power relatively soon. Between our current king and other people we've seen, there's, it's just not the best. We can now demand some power. I hate to lose the loyalty, but we now could use some more. Let's recruit a cheap minister. And then demand that support. And now we're going to lose that on that extra papal influence. Which is sad, but it's okay. Really need money. Uh, how much, how much am I making in trade right now? 3.24. Can I get any better than this? Currently steering out of here. 17% control. That is, this is the best thing I can do, I think. Um, I don't, I don't think it would make much of a difference to steer from Vienna, especially without having any control here. No. No, I think this is probably about right. Flanders refuses the merchants of Austria, okay. So if we were to take some of this land, we would own it ourselves. I don't know if the Emperor would demand that I give it back to Brandenburg. They might. I don't want to think that they would, but maybe they would. We can finally finish the Diplo ideas. Done. Production efficiency goes up as well, which makes me some more money. Diplo ideas are out of the way. Finally, we can start focusing on the diplomatic technology. We're making 11 per month. It's not good enough, but it may have to do. Making some money. We can spend it on something. 16? 16 is pretty good. Or barracks. 875 power. Or manpower, I should say. Yeah? But I think I'm going to go for the money. Pope man, you need, to, you need to get your act together. You're kind of losing it here. Did Austria send troops or not? Where'd they go? They had more men. Than this. New Pope. Okay. Hmm. I'm not really sure what's best to do in this case. I really want to fight, but I really can't. And I'm only getting 157 per month. It's just not a lot. Okay, screw this for a minute. Low army maintenance. Let's just sit back. We're not, we don't have any rebels, which is amazing to me. Well, let's just make some money. Promising trader. A cheaper guy. Okay. Could work towards some more ideas, but I think we want to work about the military tech before the institution tech penalty gets too crazy. 
Colonialism is a thing, after all. It fired in Northumberland in England? Really? Interesting. Okay. I guess it makes some sense. It's going to be a long time before colonialism gets anywhere near me. Uh, I, and by a long time, I mean a very, very long time. Good lord. Okay. Hesse is ceding even more land. Is Hesse dead? No, I think they've been moved down to, like, having three provinces in the game. That's it. They've lost their main province. Oh, they're dead. Nassau is now an elector. I've still got a couple people voting for me, and it looks like Brandenburg is tempted to give me the vote as well. Um, I'm very close to becoming the emperor if I want to. I'm really curious if that's a good idea right now, or am I putting myself in a lot of danger? I mean, let's think about that. Being the Emperor allows us to bestow Imperial Grace, enforce religious unity, grant electorate, grant free city status, and demand unlawful territory. Being the Emperor gives me prestige, advisors, leaders, relations, and more taxes and manpower and force limit. I mean, it definitely makes me stronger. The downside is, if anyone like France, let's say, attacks, uh, I don't know, let's say Liège. As the Emperor, I have to defend them. I don't know that I want to have that responsibility right now, but let's see, I mean, we'll see what people do. Yeah, I've got three people voting for me now. I'm considered one of the stronger people in the Empire, apparently. It's kind of fun. Um, it's a little overwhelming, but it's also kind of fun. So let's see. I'd love to demand some of this valuable land. Like, 17 development right there is pretty good. Between the two of these, 17 and 15, that's awesome. Yeah. I don't know, guys. Um, this is, this is awkward. I feel like, despite our position of strength... We're in kind of a dangerous spot, where things could go badly very quickly for me. If we're not careful. Very badly. Reinforce speed, land attrition, attrition for enemies. I mean, that's all tempting and all, but no. We're so far behind in tech as well. How are we doing with favors with you? 4, 13, 25... The Papal State. You're the other guy I have favors with. 19. Huh. can make the Pope trust me more, too. I mean, these are viable uses of favors if I have no anticipation that I'll be able to use them in a war. Now the Pope is losing. End of the Peasants' War for Muscovy. Oh, that's why Ryazan was fighting them. They still had the Peasants' War. I forgot about that. They were weak. Oh. Hi, Denmark. Denmark ate Norway. I really wonder if Sweden's going to break free in this. It used to be that Sweden would break free all the time, almost every single time. And yet it seems to me, again, anecdotally, that um, Denmark's been able to hold their personal unions a uh, lot more consistently lately, which I think is very interesting. I've got 10,000 manpower. That's enough to have some fun and use that against Bohemia, who only has 9,000 troops. Ooh. Do I still have claims against you? Yep, two. A gold mine. Oh. Oh. Want, want, covet, want, covet, covet, want. And taking this would actually be considered part of the state. I can make this into a state then. That'd be great. Yeah. Is 10,000 manpower enough? Not really, but can give it a shot. I can handle on Halt and Bohemia by myself if the Palatinate, Poland, and Lithuania can handle the Teutons in Denmark, at least for a time. Raise up the army maintenance. We're gonna go for it. I'm gonna have to declare a couple of different wars, but we'll give it a shot. I know you guys are just itching at an opportunity to kill the Teutons, right? Now, we do need to be careful. What do you want? Poland. You want Brandenburg? Poland? Poland wants Brandenburg. No, wait, you're at war with Brand. Hang on. 
There we go. Okay. This is what they want. Yeah, it's not going to happen. I, I, I want all of this. I want all of them. You don't understand. Did you take Berlin, Teutons? They totally did. What do you know? Um... For now, let's not step on their toes too much, but let's make this clear, at least. This is going to hurt our relations, I imagine, because they're going to say that we want the same stuff. So this is the thing, right? If I did fight the Teutons, I want to siege the stuff down quickly, so I can have control. And I should also just make it clear, I want all of Bohemia. This is mine. Hmm... I'm worried that if I call in Poland, they're going to siege all this stuff down and not give me anything, and that's going to limit my options a lot. That might be okay, though. I mean, there's a lot of land to go around here. I'm sure we can get something. I do need to be careful of Poland's piecing out and leaving me high and dry to die. That would be a problem. Could go for a new temple. Workshop. Workshop's point eleven. Don't need more trade. Still a fair bit of manpower, though. Uh, I'm still over my force limit. If we built a regimental camp, that costs too much. Can't afford that. Um, I guess we can go ahead and... No, let's save our money. We're about to go to a war. Let's let's see what happens. I'm going to wait. Oop. Okay, Florence is out. Uh, that leaves just the Pope versus Provence. Austria, you need to do something to help him. I mean, you've got ships, right? You got a couple of transports, not a lot. All right, well, let's, let, we'll see what they can do. But in the meantime... I was going to say let's wait until we get um, 30 spy networks so I can make one more claim. Against, let's say, Sternberg. Just to give myself some options against the Teutons. Again, whoa, hello, golden era for England. Um, again, because, well, if we're going to be fighting these guys and get a lot of aggressive expansion, claims make it a lot cheaper. Claims are really important in the early game. Not as important in the late game, when you don't really care. An heir falls ill. No! I'm going to send, I'm going to send for a trained medicus. Nope, he died anyway. Damn it! Heir's dead. I feel like we're probably going to get another one, though, right? Probably? You can build improvements. Yeah, I'm aware. Okay. That's enough. Fabricate claim. Sternberg. Sternberg. <sighs> okay. Production research is flawed. Prestige. I can call in the Palatinate in Poland. We can go and attack. Nessen would have to be the war goal because that's my mission. Poland, you're not allowed to have it. Call both of them in. Fight Denmark. Scary. Doable, but scary. I think we give it a shot, guys. Um, it, it's risky, but I've got a lot of admin power. I could use some more land. And this gives me the excuses I need to start fighting Bohemia again. Without having to fight Poland. Don't get me wrong, I want to kill Poland eventually, but not yet. Not yet. Alright, here we go. Teutons. And then, we wait a month. They did join the war. Poland's doing their thing. We can now declare war against... Oh, they will... Um, yeah, Denmark and Poland can't join. So now I have the opportunity to go kill Bohemia by myself. Yeah, we do that. And we're going to take your gold mine. That's critical for me. Alright, we declare another war. Boom! This is our pretext all along, Poland. You never saw it coming. Okay, Pomerania entered into a military alliance with Denmark. That's fine. Uh, they cannot kill Bohemia. It looks like we have allies fighting them, but they can't. They're going to my capital. That's fine. I think I can beat your capital first, and then we can go kill you in the grasslands where I have a combat advantage. 
In the meantime, just do your thing, guys. Fight the Teutons for me. Here comes some more Bohemian troops. Prepared defense. Attrition for enemies increased. Nice. Make things a little bit tougher for you. Okay, there are the Teutons. About to go kill the Palatinate. That's not going to work out well for me. The Palatinate's doing their job, though. Sacrificial lambs that they are. Okay, let's go kill the Bohemians. Easy stack wipe. Nice. Okay, we need to get them down to low war enthusiasm. That is the goal. Uh, we can afford some Diplotech, finally. Let's go ahead and do that. Finally, finally, some Diplotech. It's been a while, hasn't it? Okay, gotta try to maintain... Whoop! Provence, peace out with Austria. I'm gonna peace out with Provence myself. I don't want to be in this. I'm out. Sorry, Pope Man, but you're wasting my time. Massive waste of my time. Need to finish the war against Bohemia as quickly as we can so we can focus our efforts. Poland's doing their thing, and yes, sure enough, they did demand this land. I knew they would do that. I was afraid of it, but I knew they would. So, Den oh, uh, Denmark, no. Yeah, you stay over there. You go, you go for them. Okay. Denmark, unseige this so I can get it, please. Uh, the Pope had to sell a province to Venice? What? They sold Romagna. <laughs> oh, good show. Good show, my friend. Let's grab that military tech now. Boom. Upgrade the infantry. Um, I think we'll go for better shock. Okay, that helps. So Denmark has a fair number of troops moving around here. The Protestant Reformation fired in Poland? No way! And it's right freaking next to me. Well, good God, what am I going to do about that? Well, uh, I I think we're going Protestant, guys. Um, a center of Reformation will appear. I can't while I'm at war. Crap. I need to do this quick. I may want to go Protestant. We'll, we'll see what's, what happens, but... A Protestant Poland is not common. There you go. There you go. Denmark, unsiege him. Come on. Take the fort so I can end. Take the forts! Thank you. Castile has a golden era. Okay, taking this. Uh, coalition possibilities. Just with Bohemia, though. Doesn't matter. Okay, and I'll take your money. Uh, humiliate you? Can't. Um, don't take the money? I need that power projection. But I can't afford to wait. We'll have to siege down another fort to make that work, and I can't, I can't hold that. Alright, nope. We're gonna have to go ahead and do this for now. Uh, only 44% war score doesn't feel like a lot. Return a core to Hesse. I'd have to spend power, but I can make the Emperor a little stronger again. Or to Brandenburg. Nah. No, I don't, I don't think I really care about that. The important thing is I'm getting some land that I had claims on. Alright, done. Bohemia's out. That was the goal. Finish that. Core core. We'll be able to turn this into a state as soon as this is done. Troops are ready. Let's go fly a kite? No. Um, I kind of need Poland's help. Let's stick with them for a minute. I'm going to say friendlies are allowed to stack up with me. And we have another heir. There we go! A 365! Zikmund! I'll keep you. You sound great. Uh, what are the odds I can fight the Teutons? Not great right now. Let's make sure I demand these so Poland doesn't stake, take stuff I want. Who's stacked up with me? The Palatinate? Yes. So I have 18,000 plus 4,000 Palatinate troops. We could try jumping on this farmland here. We could probably win that fight, though barely. Whoops. I actually didn't mean to be on speed 5, but there we go. We're fighting them. Byzantine refugees. My lord, 
Byzantium has fallen to the Saracens. Didn't it fall a long time ago? Okay. The last bastion of the Roman Empire, the city of Constantine, is now in Turkish hands. As Christendom reels from the shock, Byzantine refugees flock to the cities and courts of Europe, bringing with them old manuscripts of classical knowledge, tracts by Aristotle, Plato, and Galen. Galen, I don't remember how you pronounce that, and a thorough knowledge of both Latin and Greek. Inviting the refugees might produce an enormous boost. Uh, yes, please. That is super duper good. For 30 years, a 10% tech cost reduction. For really minor costs. I mean, that's great. Okay, kill the Teutons. Teutons are dead. Leader trait gains. i am got movement speed. Nice. Um, can't fight Denmark right now without Poland. Let's see. Can I... Can I chase these guys down? I don't think so. But let's see where they go. Wait, hang on. Poland's going this way. No, no, no. Poland, you need to come over here. No, Poland. Damn it. It's fine, actually. Go ahead and unsiege that. I don't care. I'm going to go for this fort. In the woods. See if he can win a race. Brandenburg entered into a military alliance with Hen Holt. Okay. Was it on Holt or an Holt? I don't know. Go ahead and unsiege this, by all means. Okay, you guys stacking up together scares me a lot. Are you guys going to jump on Poland? Because if so, I need to be ready to defend. No, they're going elsewhere. Okie doke. Oh, nope, they are. Hang on. Let's defend. This is our chance to rout Denmark. There we go. Oh, we have to fight again. But that's fine. The first army had to retreat. Let's not lose this one. The military ideas of Maria Ter Teresia. Theresia. Throughout her life, spanning back to her time in Austria, she has developed a good tech and grasp on military strategy. Gained 50 military power. Sweet. Thank you. Route the Teutons. Yes! Okay. That's so good. Now Denmark has to retreat a fair bit. Good. And we got that. Good. Go to Gnesen. Gnesen. I'm not going to let you have it, Poland. It's not for you. It's for me. No, don't kill the Platinet. Damn it. It's all right. I've got the stuff that I wanted. Uh, if we can get their capital, we'll win. I don't need to siege down anything from Denmark, unless I want to. Pomerania declared war on Bohemia. Pomerania has been having this weird flux where they're getting strong and then weak and then strong and then weak. It's okay with me if they take a little bit of land. We are not on track to become emperor anymore, by the way. <laughs> Apparently Brunswick is an elector and I didn't, I didn't notice that. Uh, get the capital. No! Denmark. Okay. That was a stack wipe on Poland. Oh, God. That's really bad. Religion. Converted. Uh-oh. So we're getting the Protestant stuff now. Um. I need some decisive wins here. We got a fort. I need to go get these guys. And you guys need... Ah, nope, nope. Go here. Defend. No! How did I miss that? I thought I did click. Screw it. Go for the capital. Don't let Denmark get me, though. Keep Denmark as far away as possible. Where are they going? Are they coming after me? I think they're coming after me. Oh, God. We're in trouble. Slow down. He's coming for me. Yep. Okay. Okay. Two tons. Hi. I can't have... Can I have anything? Can I have money? No. <laughs> We need to back up. I need Poland to come and defend. Uh, we could be in trouble. Okay, they're going over this way. Let's defend these guys for a minute. Denmark, go somewhere else. I don't know if you have any rebels. You do have rebels. Go all the way to fight the rebels. Go there. Don't come south. Keep going west. I'm just going to watch them for a minute. Keep going west. Truce with Lithuania has expired. Don't care about that. All right, if he wants to go for my capital or something, that's fine. I can I can buy a bit of time. Let's siege down this capital of the Teutons. Nope, he's coming after me again. Dang it! Back up, back up. I don't think he knows what he wants, to be honest. Protestantism is entrenched. Yeah, how's that looking? Oh, God. Are there no more centers of reformation to get? I don't think so. I think they're all gone. Uh, we do have one, two, actually, really close to me. 
One in Bohemia, which I suppose is no surprise. Bohemia often does this. And then one here in Poland. If we did take the capital of Poland, we'd own a center of reformation. Which is good, actually, for when we do get to the next uh, age, the age of reformation. That will happen soon, now that the reformation has fired. But I think we're going to have to end this video here. I'm in a lot of trouble. With Poland's primary army gone, Denmark can eat them up. But we're going to see what happens. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.